as promised, this is what the panels look like with the clear on them. Now this is gonna this is gonna flow out a little bit. It, in 24 hours, it will it it the clear is always moving. Okay, gravity makes it move downhill, so you can get it on there pretty wet. You can see I got a little bit of dust in it, but a little tiny bit of stuff. But the orange stripes are going to look really nice, and a little bit of sandpaper and uh, polish will bring that out really nice looking. And of course, that will dry in 24 hours with the hardener in it. And all the little dings that I had are gone. Here is the the back panel that I had problems with the. Um, I had a little bit of, I put it up on a stick instead of putting it flat, and that didn't work out so well. But that's what that looks like, and it's got a little bit of, it's a little bit of wind out there, so it's a tiny bit of dust, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. This is a headlight cover that was painted black, or the bezel as it's called, and that's got a lot of clear on it. it it's really nice to have a little clear on there for like rock chips and flying bugs and you know whatever shit happens that day and here is and you remember if you'll remember this plate right here was all bented dent and banged in and all the hell and now if you go on the gyro website you'll never see one of these for sale never they're just uh, impossible to get so what I did was I rebuilt the entire inside right here and you can look you can see me yeah I know I'm an ugly little bastard but at least I still got all my hair at 50 so I'm not doing too bad but look at that I mean you could operate you could operate in that clear job you really could and you can even see the kind of camera I have and if you look real close on the camera right here on the edge on the left hand edge it says YouTube ready I didn't even know that but that's the way you want to do a clear job you want to put that clear on there wetter than hell but you want to go right to the limit you don't want to go over the limit and over the limit means after you're painting for a while you get a sense of the temperature outside you get a sense for the moisture in the air this is true okay a, a real painter can do this when he sets his paint up and does his three coats he can feel exactly how much paint that he can get on there without having it run and that's the sign of a true painter is to be able to take it right to the outer limits and not have that bitch run that's a real painter and if you practice a little bit and if you have a little bit of uh, confidence and a good teacher like me you know uh, for, I'm not bad for free but I believe you can do it if you just like I teach my kids practice 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 get a hold of these parts get a hold of a cheap ass spray gun from you don't need a four hundred dollar Develvis a lot of these um, very expensive guns, let me, let me tell you a little secret about them. They're called production guns. That means that they're used every day. They are hardworking, everyday use guns that will last for a very, very long time. But if you're just a, a plinker painter that, that wants to paint a little bit, grab yourself one of these detail guns for 50, 60 bucks. Go on over to Sears or whatever uh, Mickey Mouse hardware store you have in your country. Probably Walmart. It's everywhere. I hate that place. And uh, get yourself a hose, and you're in business. Light pressure, and you can paint anything. And here's that blue again. Isn't that a beautiful blue? Now I, I put the I took the Repsol sticker off that was right in the center there. And I don't want to stand around this too much because I'm going to put dust on it or bump into it or some kind of bullshit that, um, God, I just feel like cussing today. It's great. You know, that's a good thing about being America. Uh, screw the rules. S rules are for little people, not for us Americans. That's how I feel about it. 
Remember, it's all legal unless you get caught. That's another uh, thing I live by. Even though I'm pretty honest. I'm really honest guy. You can trust me. <laughs> I'm with the government. We're with the IRS and we're here to help you. Now if you believe that, you put one hand on your wallet and you run like hell. Okay, that's, uh, that's three coats and I'm going to turn everything off, leave it here. Not touch these things. Put my cameras away and go post this stuff. But that's what you want right there. See? Isn't that neat? See? Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have done that. In some countries, that's a sign of uh, respect. Unfortunately, not this country. Get your ass kicked for doing that. Oh, well, we got to throw in a little comedy with the painting. I mean, come on. We got too damn many rules in this world. Too many scooter tuning laws, which they don't have here. Too much of all that kind of bullshit. If some German cop pulled me over, I would laugh in his face. And then I say, why don't you break out your gun and shoot me? Oh, you can't carry guns, can you, Mr. Policeman? Because it's too dangerous. Okay, well, look at my 44 here, bitch. That's right. Uh-huh. My name is Sir. Okay, you get back on your little van. Take your little scooter turner, tuner speed deal and get the hell out of my face. Now, that's the way you got to deal with German police. Or any European police. I mean, that's how I think you should, if you ever happen to go over there, and I've, of course, I've never been there, so. But next time I do, I'm going to take my scooter and I'm going to outrun every cop. Every cop in Finland, every cop in Denmark, every cop in Netherlands, every cop in Germany. I'm going to outrun every cop in France, and then I'm going to let them catch them, I'm going to beat the shit out of them, just for the hell of it. And then I think I'll let them catch me, no, I'll outrun the ones in... Great Britain, I don't know, they may be yeah, some fast ones. But I would not want to outrun the cops in Japan. Because those guys, if you wa ever watch the Okinawa or um, Singapore racing, they got some bikes that'll do 90 miles an hour all day, all day long and they're 50cc or 70cc. Okay, I gotta go post this, I'm talking too damn much.